hey guys welcome to my four year anniversary YouTube video Woo! four years crazy I don't know how that happens I want to say thank you to anyone who has been here for that long because yeah that's a lot of time of your life <laughs> let's get into the video first off I just have a little van adventure vloggy bit for you it's just short it's the last trip that Nick and I did in the van and then I have a Q&A for you so I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as I can oh and for those of you who I don't know you just happen to stumble across this channel and you're like yeah I'm gonna watch that I don't know why but if you're in that boat I'm Mari I uh, <laughs> I love travel I am from California in the US and I'm currently living in New Zealand I've been renovating a van into a camper van so I've been going on van adventures and stuff this is just a little trip that Nick and I did we went to this place called Lake Coleridge and explored around the area and just kind of hung out and chilled Morning, Nick. Our uh, cushions that we made for the van are great for just lounging out. So good. <laughs> Aren't you out to Mary? Uh, just watching the gorgeous sunset. <laughs> are you taking a. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking a time lapse. Time lapse? <laughs> I hope you like that little van adventure. There's such a beautiful spot. New Zealand has so many cool places. Now, let's get into the Q&A. Can you share about traveling via public transport in New Zealand? Yes, there are buses, and that's about it. There is actually a train, but it's actually pretty expensive. Uh, buses, though, are really good. They go everywhere you want to go within cities, and then if you want to go between cities, there's one called Intercity and there's one called Naked Bus. Those are both really good. When I first came to New Zealand, that's how I got around just buses and I had no problems. How windy is Windy Welly? I don't know, every time I go there, it's beautiful and sunny and not windy at all, so... Mm. But it is a really great city, yeah, you could definitely live there. Um, what are some must-haves you recommend someone moving to New Zealand to pack? Uh, Pretty much anything that you want you can buy here, but some things are a lot more expensive. So things I would recommend bringing if you're an outdoorsy kind of person, um, things like hiking boots, actually. Shoes in general are more expensive here. Any kind of gear type stuff, good jackets, um, all of that is a little bit cheaper in North America. So maybe that. Otherwise, everything you can get here, all good. So a lot of questions about New Zealand. <laughs> I've made the New Zealand travel tips video in an effort to try and answer all of your questions about New Zealand. That video I made is probably, it's most of all the info I know about New Zealand. So if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. What region or country do you recommend first time backpackers go to? I think Southeast Asia. It's so good. Uh, yeah, so easy to travel there and so many people do it. I think it's such a good place. Either there or Europe. Europe's just a classic. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> do you feel the amount of expats 
around the globe is growing and strong or diminishing any. Yeah, Nick's beard is, you know, it's taking on a life of its own. Um, I think the amount of expats around the globe is definitely growing. Just more and more people are doing jobs where they can work from the internet and then they can work anywhere they want, which is really cool and living in different countries. So from what I've seen, I think so. Now that you live in New Zealand, do you eat Marmite slash Vegemite? Yeah, I do. At first I thought it was super weird for a while, actually, I didn't really like it, but now, yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's like this spread, and it's made from yeast? That sound, that makes it sound very gross, but it's like, it has a lot of B vitamins in it. I'll eat it on toast, usually, so like a layer of butter and then a layer of Marmite. Um, and, or you could eat it on a sandwich, I don't know, it's like a, it's a, Bread spread. <laughs> bread spread. And it has kind of like a very salty flavor. It's the best I can describe it. Where are you currently living? In Christchurch, New Zealand. There's a lot of questions on here about my future plans and what I want to do and where I see the YouTube going and what I plan on doing with the rest of my life. Jeez, people. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to answer those questions all the time because I don't really know for myself what those answers are. Uh, as for YouTube, how long will I do it? I don't know. I always just say I'm going to do it for as long as I want to do it. I have a semi-vision of what I'd like for myself in the future, but I, as far as I know, things have changed very much over the years. Four years ago, when I started this channel, if you told me that I'd be living in New Zealand now, that's not something that was even in my radar at that time. I would have never thought of it. So four years from now, who knows? I could be doing something that I haven't even thought of yet. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Those were the main YouTube questions. Let's move on to uh, my Facebook page, see what's going on over there. Well, this is a good question, Al. Um, what is it that you learned while traveling that one would never learn during the monotony <laughs> or eight to five type of life? So many things, actually. I mean, especially now that I do the eight to five kind of life, I really, really know, have a good grasp on what that's like. Um, although, in general, all life, I would say, is you have to make the most out of what you're given and what you have going on at the time. But when you're traveling, I think things that you learn, for example, especially if you're solo traveling, you just learn so much about yourself and you learn about your limits and things that you like and you don't like and just putting yourself outside of your comfort zone. And I think that's what's different. When you do just this eight to five life, you're not putting yourself out of your comfort zone very often. You kind of, you get into routines and you, see the same people and you do the stuff you like and you kind of know what you want to do and what you don't want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. When you're traveling, you're just confronted with all this stuff and all these choices and all these people um, that you just learn so much more. That's the difference, I'd say. Okay, yeah, let me, <laughs> let me try to break this question down because I do feel like a lot of people have are wondering these things. How do you manage to sustain yourself financially while on the road for this long? I can't imagine you picking up a local gig nearby for some side cash and then taking off again. Uh, well actually, so, for, yeah, kind of, yeah, sure. <laughs> like, I went to Australia and did the working holiday visa, I worked there for a couple months and then went traveling again. Then when I came to New Zealand, that was my intention as well, so, yeah, first I just worked at a restaurant for a couple months and then I went off again traveling. And then when I came back this time, I got, I was like, no, I'm going to stay here for a while. So I got like a more permanent job. So right now, all, no, I'm not traveling all the time. I just try and do little trips on the weekends here and there. Um, and I do whatever travel I can, travel over the Christmas break. And I'm basically just traveling like most people travel. Um, it's actually really doable if you want to travel and just do a little a uh, side job, make some money, to keep traveling. Yeah, there's a lot of travelers out there who do that. A lot of the jobs that you can get are hospitality jobs or in Australia and New Zealand, there's a lot of farming jobs, like picking fruit and all of that kind of stuff. Those are very temporary jobs that they're always hiring more people, so you can just kind of get those kind of jobs easily. Are you still a US citizen? Yes, most definitely. How do you avoid not paying taxes? Well, I do still pay taxes, so I do still make some slight money from the US. So for example, I make a little money from YouTube, from the ads that play. 
Uh, so I do still have to file my taxes and I think technically if you're a US citizen no matter what no matter where you're living you always have to pay taxes in the US even if you're not making money there I hope that clears that up a little bit more I work and I pay taxes yay <laughs> just like all of you okay what cities and countries have you never been to that you want to go? Well, so many. <sighs> okay, I'll try and narrow it down. Yeah, like Nicaragua looks really cool. There's a lot of Canada that I still really want to explore. Um, a lot of South America. Greece and Italy, I've never been there. Oh, and also India. And then there's the whole continent of Africa. Okay, that's not narrowed it down very much at all. Okay, um, boats or beards, that's a good one. <laughs> Um, I mean, but probably boats, all right. Now for some Twitter questions, yeah. Do you have any pets? No. What, I don't know, traveling is hard because, not that I'm really traveling that much right now, but even just going away for the weekends, I feel like having a pet can be hard for that. That and also the apartment I live in at the moment, I'm not allowed to have pets, so that's another good reason that I don't have one. Hey, Ellie. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Back when I was doing those viewer videos, Ellie sent in one of those viewer videos and she seemed really nice and anyway, so it's good to hear from her. If anyone wants to do those viewer videos again, I would love to feature you in videos. If you don't know what it was, so I was asking you to send me little clips about who you are and where you're from, just to get to know a little bit more about you and to introduce the rest of you to more people around the world because I know not everyone can travel but I think it's really cool. One part of traveling is meeting other people from around the world. If you're interested in that, send me an email. Yeah, cool, let's start that back up. Anyway, do I have any more long-term travel or backpacking trips planned? So unfortunately, no. Oh, working is hard because you just have to keep working. <laughs> Although I will say it's really nice having money for once, um, but yeah, not at the moment. There's a lot of things I would like to do. Um, yeah, gotta save up more money first again though. Has Nick watched Lord of the Rings yet? <sighs> no. <laughs> he has not. Um, which is very, very, very sad. I cry about it every night. <laughs> and the longer time goes on, the less likely I think it's ever gonna happen, so. Oh. Can't win them all, can't win them all. How many difficult challenges you come across in these four years and who supported you the most? My family, they've been super supportive and behind me the whole way, so that's made a big difference. Difficult challenges... Yeah, a lot of challenges. I mean, it's always hard just knowing what you're doing and if you're on the right track. And travel can be very challenging, so, you know. I've just tried to do my best and tried to keep moving forward, so that's the best you can do sometimes. Um, okay, now for the Instagram questions. Two people asked what my favorite place in New Zealand is, um, one of them being Nick. Well, <laughs> it's a hard question, a hard question. There's so many beautiful spots. I did really like that the Catlins where it just went over Christmas. I thought it was so cool down there. It's just all this coastline with all these really nice beaches. Um, yeah, I really like it there. That might be one of my favorite new spots. So we'll say that for now. What country or countries would you recommend for a three week solo backpacking trip to Southeast Asia? I would recommend maybe either Thailand or Vietnam. I think both those countries are amazing for traveling around. Um, and I think three weeks is a really good time just to see one country. Like, you could do more than one country in three weeks, uh, for sure. I'd recommend either of those two and you'll have an awesome experience either way. What's the biggest struggle been with the van and what's the best surprise about having one? Oh, the biggest struggle, oh, just the whole <laughs> process of building it. No, <laughs> just making the time to do it because again, when you work all the time, on your free time, you don't really want to just like be working on the van. So finding the time to do it, I think was the, the hardest part. Um, or making the time to do it, I guess. The best surprise is just, well, I guess it's not a surprise, but it's true. It's just how awesome it is. 
Because <laughs> everything you want is already all packed up, ready to go, and you can just hop in the van and like head out somewhere. And it's really cozy and comfy. That's what's so cool about it. Last but not least, there were a lot of questions about what are my next travel plans? So I have a job here now. It's kind of like, oh, I can't just go traveling all the time. I have to wait and use my annual leave and my holiday vacation time. So, but I do have a trip planned. Actually, this video is out and I'm already on my trip. <laughs> um, so I might as well tell you, I'm in the USA. Well, I'm not at this moment of filming it. I'm in Christchurch, New Zealand. But once you see this video, I'll be in the US. Uh, yeah, so that's my next trip is just a little trip around the US, see family and friends, um, show Nick around, which will be really fun, and go to my friend's wedding, and then back to Christchurch to work. Oh yeah! And then work, 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 and hopefully just do little trips around New Zealand. I don't know, I really want to do more international travel, but I have to save money first, so it's the struggle, you know? You guys know about the struggle and I'm in that money-making saving stage, so that's what's happening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for four years. I can't believe it. It's really weird. <laughs> Just awkward Mari making videos. Who would have thought? I certainly never would have thought, so yeah, pretty weird. I really plan on making it to five years, so that, you know, I'll see you next year. See you guys later. Bye! Oh, and if you're one of those random people who started watching at the beginning, um, subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Alright. <laughs>